Hello guys, um, this is a quick update for Tropical Storm Dorian, and um, so we have Dorian at 60 miles per hour right now, maximum wind speeds are 60 miles per hour, it's located in the middle of the Atlantic, with a pressure of 999 millibars, and it's moving west northwest at a speed of 18 miles per hour, or 16 knots. Now, as you click here, you'll, you'll see that... Um, Okay. So you'll see that it moves slowly to the western west and eventually reach the north side of Puerto Rico and to the north side of Hispaniola and uh, I think it will eventually reach uh, the Bahamas. It looks like it will eventually reach the Bahamas. But, and, uh, it could an impact the U.S. An impact to the U.S. is now a lot more likely as we're currently <laughs> because mo motor runs have been going farther and now we see that it might go... I'm currently thinking that it will go in towards Florida and maybe into the Gulf, but it can also follow up the East Coast towards South Carolina or even North Carolina. But of course, it can even curve back into the sea, but that's not very likely. But currently, I'm not doing any forecast beyond the five-day range. So I, I have a forecast only for Tuesday. And uh, we already had a wind a tropical storm wind history. So we have tropical storm force wind history, for pretty long wind history for tropical storm force winds. And tropical storm force winds are very likely in fact, there's a chance it could be a hurricane even, in my opinion. And I think it will become a hurricane eventually as it heads towards the Bahamas. But it could even become briefly a hurricane right now, although I think it will stay just below hurricane level. So um, here is the 50 knot wind speed probabilities. And uh, you see the they're pretty they're a little better now than they were yesterday. And uh, here are the hurricane wind speed probabilities, and they have just one little area, but I think there should be a large area of ten percent. But we'll see. I think it should become a hurricane eventually. So we'll have to take a look at my um my forecast. So let's take a look. So tropical storm Dorian update and. Uh, Brought to you by Leaf Horcaster and Mark with US Water Plus. This, I'll, I'll show you an update for, uh, updated forecast because yesterday's update, so I'm going to show you a new, uh, just a, an updated forecast. Now, this is the key. I'm not going to go over the key again because you know it. If you've seen my yesterday's video, so Dorian is currently located over there where, where you see the, the black circle with the yellow in it. And by Friday, it's gonna move a little west. It's gonna reach wind speeds of 70 miles per hour, in my opinion. But before it weakens, it heads into the Saharan dust area, and then it runs into wind shear, so it helps trouble. But at Friday and Saturday, I think it'll be 50 miles per hour winds. On Sunday, still 50 miles per hour winds, probably ears the Antilles. On Monday, 65 miles per hour wind, in my opinion. This goes to Puerto Rico, strength a lot. And finally, it'll be a tropical storm, but finally, by Tuesday, I think it will be 75 miles per hour as it gets to the Bahamas, and it will be a hurricane. And after that, um, I'm not sure where it will go yet, so I haven't made a forecast yet, but by tomorrow, we could be we could be looking for more detailed update as of where it's going to go, whether to the Gulf, to Florida, to South Carolina, or out to sea. The impacts are... So these are impacts. First, you get a slight impact for the Bahamas currently, in, and uh, as well as um, much of Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and uh, the Upper Antilles. A moderate impact will it will be present in the same areas of Bahamas and as well as Puerto Rico and and in Hispaniola. And the high impact will be present across the extreme southern portion of the low Oak southern Rust Island of the Bahamas and over. And over, uh, over West Puerto Rico and Eastern Hispaniola. That's that's where the that's where the word orange area is. And we could be even seeing an, ex an extreme impact, although not excessive, definitely, but an extreme impact would be still seen here as it becomes a hurricane of the first or second category. But currently, I think it's a high impact. So we'll see with that with the next update. Thank you, thank you for watching, and stay tuned to US Weather Plus for more updates. And it will be. It would be very grateful to us if you could subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash usweatherplus, visit our website, usweatherplus.wordpress.com, and follow us on Twitter at, at cash and, or, or tag us at hashtag usweatherplus1, or, or uh, visit us on live stream during severe weather outbreaks, 
excessive winter storms and major hurricanes. Maybe even this hurricane will be the live stream, we don't know, but just to see how live stream of comments slash with requests during these events. Thank you so much for watching and have a good evening, everybody. Bye.